Hello and welcome to SafeSite. The SafeSite platform provides a paperless solution to help log information for safety actions, which include inspections, meetings, hazards, observations, equipment, and incidents. After safety actions are logged on our mobile app, the reports can be viewed on the SafeSite admin dashboard by administrators. In this admin analytics and reporting video tutorial, we will go over the following features. Analysis and reports pages, weekly and monthly reports, equipment and certificate reports. First, we will review the SafeSite admin dashboard, which can be viewed from a desktop computer or a tablet. From the admin dashboard, you can reach out to customer support with any questions by selecting the chat icon at the bottom right of the screen. The book icon will lead you to SafeSite's Help Center, where you can access videos and articles about the SafeSite platform. On the top right of the screen, you will see your name. Clicking this will allow you to select the correct organization. Let's take a look at the analysis pages. Each safety action, including hazards, incidents, inspections, observations, and meetings, has an analysis page that allows you to deep dive into specific data to isolate your insights. You can view analysis pages for projects or groups. Select the Safety Action tab in the left menu for the analysis pages that you would like to review. The Hazard Analysis page shows the weekly hazard action percentage complete heat map. This displays the percentage of actions completed by all personnel on the project with actions applied for the current week and four weeks prior. If you hover over a specific cell for personnel, you will see a pop-up stating the number of actions a user has currently completed over how many they are required to complete for the given week. No quota is displayed in a given cell if that personnel member had no weekly action set for that specific week. It is also important to note that if a user is removed from a project, they will remain on this chart until the week they were removed is outside of the week shown on this chart. The risk type breakdown displays a pie chart of risk types reported through the mobile app, such as electrical, slips, trips, falls, and personal protective equipment. Recorded by displays a pie chart of personnel who have raised issues within the given time period selected. The severity breakdown displays a pie chart on the risk level of the reported hazards. Team breakdown is a breakdown of reported hazards per team. Location breakdown is a pie chart of the count of hazards reported per location. Hazard count per day is a bar chart of total hazard counts per day. On the Incidents Analysis page, you'll find the following charts. Incident Type Breakdown, a pie chart of the incident types such as near miss and injuries, recorded by a pie chart on personnel who have recorded incidents within a given period. Injury Type Breakdown, a pie chart of injury types such as injuries to bones, nerves, etc. Task breakdown, a pie chart of reported tasks related to different functions like housekeeping, plumbing, etc. Root cause breakdown, a pie chart of reported root causes of reported incidents. On the inspections analysis page, you'll find the following charts. Template breakdown, a pie chart of inspection types such as PPE inspections, ladder inspections, pre-start checklists, and etc. Location breakdown, a pie chart of inspection locations. Answers by risk type. This pie chart shows the risk type of each inspection response. Completed chart, which is a pie chart on personnel who have completed inspections within a given period. Inspection count by day, a bar chart of total inspections per day. On the observation analysis pages, you'll find the following charts. Negative recorded by personnel, a pie chart on personnel who have completed negative observations. Positive recorded by personnel, a pie chart on personnel who have completed positive observations. Negative count by team. 
a pie chart on risk observations based on teams tagged to negative observations, positive count by team, a pie chart on safety observations based on teams tagged to positive observations, negative count by location, a pie chart on risk observations based on locations tagged to negative observations, positive count by location, a pie chart on safety observations tagged to positive observations, negative count per day, a bar chart of total negative observations per day, and positive count per day, a bar chart of total positive observations per day. On the meeting analysis pages, you'll find the following charts conducted by a pie chart on personnel who've conducted meetings within a requested period, template breakdown, a pie chart of meeting topics, attendee breakdown, a pie chart providing meeting attendance metrics, location breakdown, a pie chart of meeting locations, responses by risk type. The pie chart shows the risk type of each meeting response. Meeting count by day, a bar chart of total meetings per day, attendee count by day, a bar chart of total meeting attendees. On each chart, you can change the date range. You can also download images or print the charts out by selecting the three lines icon. Next, we will review safety action reports. After safety actions are completed on the SafeSite mobile app, Admins can review, download, and archive reports as needed. Select the project or group you would like to view reports for. If selecting a group, all the reports of the projects within that group will be visible in the respective reporting pages. You can review reports for hazards, incidents, inspections, observations, meetings, and equipment. Select the date range in which the reports you would like to review were created. Select columns to check or uncheck the columns you want to make visible. Select filter to apply filters that will narrow down the reports to what you are looking for. To export multiple reports, check the reports you would like to download and select export. Selecting an exporting format, choose a method of delivery, and select export. For larger exports, we recommend using the email option so you don't have to keep the window open while the download is being prepared. To view individual reports, select the Actions menu and select View. To download an individual report, select Download PDF or Download XLS. To restore safety actions, select Columns and check Archive to make the column visible. Select Filter, then check Archive and Include Archive. Select the Actions menu of the safety action you want to unarchive and then select Restore. Next, we will review weekly and monthly reports. SafeSite's weekly and monthly reports combine all individual safety actions such as hazards, observations, inspections, meetings, and incidents into one easy-to-read document. These reports provide a breakdown of how personnel are completing safety actions. Select the appropriate project or group from the drop-down menu. Click the Safety HQ tab and select either weekly or monthly reports. Let's take a look at a report summary. Report summaries provide a breakdown of how many safety actions have been completed by personnel that were scheduled within safety campaigns. The reports will also show the actions of personnel who have not had campaigns assigned to them. For project weekly and monthly reports, each row in the safety actions completed table will display a personnel safety action breakdown by providing the total completed safety actions over the total of assigned actions for the week or month of that particular project. The project reports will also show the actions of personnel who have not had campaigns assigned to them. Next, we will review equipment. The equipment feature allows you to register and track information about individual pieces of equipment 
including information such as last service date, maintenance frequency, and servicing history. Equipment can be registered at the project level via the SafeSite mobile app. Mobile users can add equipment to a project by opening the SafeSite mobile app, selecting the plus icon, selecting Inspect Equipment, selecting the correct project, and then selecting Register Equipment. From here, you can add a team, a photo, details about the equipment, and set a maintenance plan for the equipment. From the admin dashboard, you can access the equipment list by selecting equipment and reports. You can view a list of equipment, filter the list, and sort the list by columns to track pieces of equipment along with their maintenance schedule. Next, we will review certificates. The SafeSite platform allows you to maintain compliance with training and certification management. Certificates can be entered into the SafeSite mobile app by mobile users or through the admin dashboard. Once entered, project admin can receive daily or weekly emails relaying if certifications will soon expire or if they are overdue. Let's review how mobile users add new certificates on the SafeSite mobile app. First, open the SafeSite mobile app. Then tap on the SafeSite logo and certificates. Select Add New. Enter the certificate details, such as the certificate name or type, issuing body, issue date, and expiry date. Add a photo of the certificate along with any other additional notes. Tap Save Certificate when finished. Now the certificate will be added and viewable on the admin dashboard by those who are project admin. Project and organization administrators can also view and add certificates directly from the admin dashboard for personnel and company certificates. To do so, navigate to the admin dashboard, select the correct project, and select certificates. You'll be able to see the certificates entered by mobile users on the project. To add certificates, select Add New Certificate. Select if the certificate is for personnel or for the company. Add the team, certificate type or name, document reference, issue date, expiry date, and any additional notes.